and welcome to Local SEO Today. I'm Roger Murphy. And I'm John Vong. Today we wanted to talk to business owners who are watching this video with regards to content marketing and your business, really for your business uh, website. John, it's so important today. It's fresh content. It's what's required out there. Google's looking for this, but also the consumer, the ready-to-buy customer that's searching for something. They want that information, relevant information they can use. Yeah, so as a small business owner, um, you know, having a website is one thing, but having making sure that the, the service pages mm -hmm. or your homepage or your blog has content that will, you know, talk to the, the audience, talk mm -hmm. to your potential customers mm -hmm. and educate them mm -hmm. and bring value to what you're, you're bringing to the table, right? Mm -hmm. So writing service page content is a little different than writing blog content, mm -hmm. right? So... Um, for instance, if you are a local business owner and say you're a dental, sure. uh, dental practice, um, and you could be even a specialized dental practice, say mm -hmm. you're specializing in ortho, okay. braces. Um, so the service page content, what you're trying to talk to, the, the audience, knowing your audience, who, who's actually going to be coming to your website, mm -hmm. right? And speaking directly to them. Mm -hmm. So how does your what do you do in terms of your services how sure. do you differ what what makes you stand apart from yes. the competitors mm -hmm. right maybe some of the steps and strategies that you offer that may be different than some of your other ortho clinics nearby mm -hmm. right um, that's very important in terms of writing good content yes it's uh, you think about orthodontics more likely it's a parent looking for something for their child i'm sure there are there are some adults that are getting their teeth you know, fixed, so to speak, for the first time. But overall, if you know your market and think of it, you're really speaking to parents. So your content on your service pages, you want to make it, you want to speak to them person to person or, uh, you know, as opposed to talking as if you're talking to a crowd of people. Make it one-on-one. -on -one. That's, make it natural. So you want to, let's say as a dentist and, and being a specialist that way, talk about personal service, your staff, the family environment. Uh, your extended hours, maybe even financing, John. There's so many things. If you think of what a parent's looking for in an orthodontist, uh, testimonials too. Yeah, like connect with your potential customers as mm -hmm. much as possible, right? So you have to understand who they are in the first place. Mm -hmm. Know your audience. Yes. Right? So that, you know, this could be done through your existing clients. Do a survey or um, reach out, mm -hmm. right? Do, do some paid surveys sure. to see what are the factors that play in terms of decision making mm -hmm. when they are looking for a sure. ortho. Yep. And this will be different than a plumber, mm -hmm. for instance, um, because you know this is more of an emergency. So you focus on those call to actions, mm -hmm. right? I offer 24 hour service, I pick up the phone, I, I can yes. come out there within a couple hours, right? Trucks in your neighborhood, that sort of thing. So really know who you're talking to mm -hmm. and what makes you stand yes. apart. And make it a, so it converts. So if you answer their questions, it's speed, it might be price, it might be frozen pipes. If you answer their specific need in Canada or in lots of places where you've got very cold weather, that's a situation where your pipes literally could freeze. Someone's actually going to type that into Google. So think of it in terms of service pages, answer and give people an understanding of, of you know what you can do for them. Yeah, so those are service pages uh, content. Mm -hmm. What's a little bit different from that is the blog content, right? right. Because this is where you you need fresh information. This is a signal where Google wants to make sure that mm -hmm. you're on top of your industry. You are supposedly trying to be the expert, a yes. trusted source. Yep. So you need to to be providing more information that will will get picked up, right? Mm -hmm. Like people will actually read this. So sure. this is new information, tips that can be used, uh, a guide guide mm -hmm. to, and this has to be well-researched content, sure. right? So for instance, a denti dentist that's taking part in, you know, knowing what's going best practices, mm -hmm. they can write about what's going on in their yes. industry. And as long as you are resonating with your audience and letting them know well, this is best practice, mm -hmm. or these are some of the ticks, tricks to uh, maintain a healthy you know teeth and dental health right exactly. um, these are things that you can put on a blog mm -hmm. we uh, we attended and exhibited at the ODA this spring in Toronto 
uh, 14,000 dentists and their managers and staff that work the, the uh, work at these different dental offices, they were in meetings, they were in uh, workshops, learning their trade. So we were there, of course, promoting local SEO search, helping the, helping the dentists with marketing and getting their message out to the buying public. But you've got, um, you've got people there that are learning their craft and, and getting better at it. So very similar. What are you doing to educate your customers yep. to let them know that you're on top of exactly. what's going on? We, so, uh, we attended ODA. We saw this. We saw the latest tips and tricks on uh, maybe uh, gingivitis or the different techniques. Put that into the blog and let people know we are learning on your behalf. Exactly. Yeah. So as a business owner, then comes, how do I even write content, mm -hmm. right? Where do I put the content? Mm -hmm. So of course, having a blog section on your website that's updated on a regular basis, make sure that it is easy to read with simple headlines, but engaging and capturing yes. the audience, making sure that it has the ability for people to share it, like it, amplify it, comment mm -hmm. on it. So there's a lot of factors when you are thinking about writing a good piece of mm -hmm. content. And don't make it so that you're trying to fulfill Google's algorithm. Write it very naturally mm -hmm. so that you're trying to impact the end consumer, yes. your ultimate client, mm -hmm. right? Because that will reflect on the way you write it. Mm -hmm. You need a good company. You need a good partner that knows how to write properly and get this message out there. Not every business person is a writer. Not every business person even has the time or inclination to do this work that's required to get that message out there. So, you know, we can do a little plug for local SEO search, but that's what we have a team here dedicated to do the research and do the writing on behalf of our clients. And again, writing content is not a specialty for a lot of business owners. Mm -hmm. They're so busy running their day-to-day -day operation, yeah. right? You got staffing, you got clients you got to deal with. Then there's the accounting, bookkeeping, Banking, and operations. Yeah. Yes. There's, there's so much going on. Yeah. And then on top of that, you're expected to write. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you're not strong at. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you went to school for your specific trade and industry, but Writing mm -hmm. <laughs> is not something a lot of business owners even want to do. We've even had, and I've had clients that have come on board with us that have said, you can look after this for me. And their eyes light up because this is something they just don't have time for. And if someone can take it off their plate so they can just focus on being a great plumber, a great dentist, a lawyer, doing you know their craft, you know, we make it easy for them. And there's not just written content that's important. You need to always add images. Mm. Um, there's potentially video content sure. that can be repurposed. Yeah. Uh, audio content, mm -hmm. infographic content. Yeah. So there's multiple types of content that you can actually produce mm -hmm. and make sure that it's engaging enough for yes. the end consumers. It's visual. Visual. People are very visual. They like to see this. So yeah, it's great. So there's ways that you can become the expert because ultimately that's the whole purpose, mm -hmm. right? Creating content so that you are known as the expert in your industry, in your local market, and you become the trusted authoritative figure. Sure. Right? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's exactly what's required. It sounds like a lot of work. And if you're watching this video and you're going, the bubble over your head is, I don't think I have time for this. All you need is a good partner and of course local SEO search. We're here in Toronto and we've got a team that takes care of this for you. And there's so many other things we take care of also. But this particular topic today is really about content, fresh content, uh, content for your pages, content for your blogs. This all has to come together and get a message and get information out there for your clients that they can use and, and take something and do something with it. Yeah, so give us a call. There's a couple of things I do want to... Um add to because even creating content you want to create content that is you know newsworthy mm -hmm. I would say because trends are very important sure. doing research in terms of some sort of broad topic some of your major competitors may be writing good quality content so you want to see what they're doing mm -hmm. kind of you know see what's out there association content yeah. Stuff that may be relevant to your industry, right? So we have a lot of tools and we, we go through Google Trends and other places to Watching this watch stuff, yeah. this stuff for you as a business owner. So you don't have to worry. Mm. We 
write the content, we put it together, we send it to you for you to prove before it goes live. Mm -hmm. And that's the ultimate because really it saves you the yes. time, mm -hmm. right? Especially if you don't have time. <laughs> yes, exactly. And when you do search and you're looking for a good SEO partner, you can check us out. We will give you references to check. But when you're talking to any SEO provider, ask them, blogging, tell, tell me what you do. What are you offering? How many per month? How many per year? Uh, who does it for you? Etc. So find all this information out to really understand what are you getting out there because as John and I have been talking and hopefully you get out of this video, this is an important component of your, for your business, for your website and to, um, to amplify your business, business and your message out there. And this really helps your local SEO strategy, right? Content marketing is a very vital piece because keeping it fresh, mm. informative, and making you become the expert is very critical in, to ensure that you rank well on Google. Well, John, anything else you want to add? No. I, I think that's it. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions, you can reach us here in Toronto, area code 416-888-8756. John or myself will be more than happy to speak to you with regards to what your needs are and talk to you about strategy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.